Hello and welcome to Workflow Labs. In this lab, uh, we are going to look at um, timeout and auto advancing. We are going to look at uh, we are built. Uh, uh, there are certain things that we can do. For example, in a work in a vacation workflow, if the user has not responded within certain number of days, uh, we don't you know we don't want to wait for the approver forever and the approver you know all the approver you know we would make it. Uh, such a way that the you know we look for the time you know if it, if it if it exceeds certain time you would auto had auto approve it so let's go ahead and see how we can uh, build up build that functionality so we we started with a basic uh, vacation request where a vacation would come in and the approver would either approve or reject it uh, then we added a, a loop where we can resubmit the uh, resubmit the vacation then uh, we have enhanced it to uh, to store the value in the database once it's approved. Then we added a check whether if the requester is the approver, then uh, we won't want to continue. Then we added a new process to reset the fields. So now we're going to add a new uh, process by which where we're going to see if okay it, does the time ex so once the vacation request is done, we're going to check if the time expired. The time expired then. If in then uh, how many times we have done it? You know, like so, it, how many how many times do we wait for it? Like three times, two times. So well, let's say the time mode is for one minute or one day. So the first day passed by. Um, you know, no, in, uh, the user has not just responded. Then again, the the second time, uh, third time. After third time, it's going to go to auto approve. So that's what we are going to build. So let's go ahead and uh, open the workflow. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to build a so vacation proposal is here. We're going to build an auto approve functionality. First, what we have to do is we have to let's go ahead and open the document. So I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, so I'm going to so I'm going to look at the node diag node. I'm going to open this. I'm going to click on the node and node attribute actually timeout. I'm going to say relative time. I'm going to say one minute. So I've set the uh, I've set the uh, time to I've set the time to one minute. So I'm going to bring the loop counter function now in in places. So we so after one minute it's going to time out, but at the same time we don't want to approve after a minute. So let's go ahead and you know we can keep this one day, but then we have to wait. So let's go ahead and go to the standard functionality and bring the uh, bring the loop counter. So we'll try we will do a transition from uh, from the vacation proposal to loop on timeout. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to make it uh, like that. So I'm going to say I'm going to come back here on loop, and if it exceeds. So if it exit, we're gonna we're gonna go to the auto. Basically, we are going we are going to the auto approval. So this would be the simplest way to do a, a timeout. So let's go ahead and uh, upload it to the database, and uh, of course we save it and upload it to the database, and we will try testing it out. So one thing I missed in the previous step is um, if we added up, I added the loop counter, but now to make sure I. How many times I have to loop? So uh, click on. So go to um, node attributes. So double click on the loop counter. Go to node attributes. Click on the loop count. Uh, let's put the constant as two times. So uh, we could uh, do it. Let's go ahead and save it. So once the uh, workflow is saved to the database, let's go ahead and run the uh, steps to process it. So we'll start with the. Uh, we, we we have uploaded the uh, workflow to the database. We we'll go to System Administrator. Click on Developer Studio. Uh, from the Developer Studio, search for your workflow type. Click Go. Uh, click Go again. Click on Run. Enter the parameters that are required. Click uh, Submit. When you click Submit, you would um, you would get the approval uh, for, for submission. So we click Submit. You will get the confirmation. Click OK. Then you go to status monitor, search for your workflow. Um, this filter for today, click go. Uh, click go. 
so we would see the uh, uh, so, so click on the uh, active workflow click on status diagram so you can see that the workflow is in place um, so let's go ahead and first thing so right now it's waiting for an action so let's go ahead because uh, since we said the uh, timeout is one minute let's wait for a minute and run the background process so we can run it through this uh, script uh, once it's done you can see that the first time the vacation proposal is cancelled and the loop counter is incremented and a new vacation proposal is uh, set up so you can see there's a minute difference let's, kind of, let's uh, submit the we can also do the same thing through the or through the concurrent program like vacation workflow proposal or you know workflow background process submit you can see that the vacation proposal is now incremented by one so the two two is done let's go ahead and run it again uh, run the script again so at this point you can see that the uh, vacation is approved automatically and the vacation schedule is updated and it process entered so um, so this chapter so so the, the goal of this chapter is primarily to show you how the loop counter works and how the uh, workflow background process works in together so hopefully this give you a good idea about the uh, about the whole uh, you know how do we how do we control um, you know the timeouts and all those stuff in there. So this would be you know this is a typical example where you know where you have a, 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 an approval an approval that's required from a for a purchase. Uh, you know you wait for two days and uh, you know once it once it's time out timed out, you would move on to the next time. Um, I think that that concludes this chapter. So this chapter we looked at how to leverage the uh, workflow background processes and the timeout.